Welcome to our video demo of the all new Exhibit View 5 for iPad. The screen that you're looking at is the home screen. Each time you launch our application, this is the screen that you'll be brought to. The first thing we'd like to do is give you a tour of all the screens in Exhibit View iPad so that you'll have a clear understanding of their functionality. Now if you look along the center you'll see four large buttons New Project, Export Project, Import Project, and Help. Starting with the Help button, if you tap this button you'll find the User Guide for Exhibit View iPad. So if you have questions we encourage you to look there. I do need to explain Import and Export Project. This is not where you will bring in new PDF exhibits, images, video clips. Rather, the Import and Export Project buttons allow our users to create a safety backup of the case that they've been working on. To get started, you'll need to tap on the button here, New Project, where you'll create a new case. If you'll look along the bottom, you'll see Register Exhibit View and Email Support. Now, if you'll look along the top left, you'll see three lines and it'll say you can find your cases and projects by tapping on this button. You'll see that I've tapped on the button and you can see that I've got a couple of cases or projects in my library. One called Billy and one called Trent Bilbo. In order to access the project simply tap on the project that you want to work with. Now that we've opened up our case you can see the main screen interface for Exhibit View iPad. The three lines along the top left if you tap there, you'll be able to open up your Exhibit Library. Now, to give you a tour of the interface, the Exhibit View main screen is set up as follows. This gray area, the large gray area, is your presentation area, also your work area. Along the top, let's take a look at some of the tools. Along the top left, you've got a spyglass with the plus sign in it. That's to do a traditional callout. The next item is a rotate page icon. The next set of icons are for marking on exhibits. The first one is a highlighter pen. The next one is a straight pen tool to underline things. The next one is a freehand pen tool where you can use to write or circle items. The next set of three are as follows. There's an undo and a redo arrow and an eraser. The next three individual icons are as follows. The first one is a laser pointer. The second one is the ability to print. It's a print icon. And the last one is a camera icon. And this will allow you to put items into the presentation area, make markups or callouts. You're able to hit the camera icon and you can save that as a new exhibit. The larger icon next is your projector icon. The icon all the way to the right says clear screen and that does what it says, it simply clears the screen. I would now like to bring your attention to the bottom left, there is an options button. And when you tap the options button, you'll see that you have the ability to actually edit the file name of any exhibit. You can print a list of all your assets or you can email that list of assets and you can also save that as a complete PDF. You can once again register for updates email support, and then of course you can mirror the workspace or the screen. I'm going to go ahead and close options and I'm going to open up my library so that we can now show you how some of these tools work. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is tap on this which is a transcript as you can see. Now the transcript stays in the center of the screen and I can just use my finger to advance pages. Or if you look at the bottom you can see that I've got a navigation. I can just tap on the arrow for each advancing page or I can tap where you see 8 of 118. This will allow me to type in a page number, hit go, and we can jump right to that page. Okay, I'd like to show you another element to the presentation screen so I'm gonna go ahead in the upper right hand corner and I'm gonna hit clear screen. You can see there's a line going down the middle and this represents that the Exhibit View iPad screen is a dual screen. And what that means is if you first tap on the left or right screen, open your library, and tap on an exhibit, it will put it into the screen that you tapped. So I'm going to put two items side by side, which is something frequently done by litigators. And as you can see, you can put two items side by side. Now one of the newest features in Exhibit View 5 is this collapsing library. 
as you can see. I'm able to open it up easily and I'm able to tap on an item and moves it into the presentation area. When the library collapses back, it now allows you full use of the iPad screen, which is really important, especially for folks that are using iPad minis. So you reduce the clutter on the screen, and you're able to make full use of the screen for working with the exhibit during a presentation or during a cross-examination. Now, when you come back to the library, you'll notice that the item that you last tapped or that you were last looking at stays lit up in light purple. The reason that we employed this feature was because many attorneys like to create a list of exhibits to go through one at a time. And if we didn't have that feature, when you cleared the screen, it would be very difficult to tell where you are in the list. So we've employed that light blue feature to help you remember where you left off so that you can simply tap the next button. Okay, let's now take a look at the tools and how the tools work. The first one I'm going to tap on is the call out tool. This is very popular in legal. And so you tap on the tool and you drag an area with your finger and it will call it out large. In order to close that call out, all you have to do is double tap on the call out itself. If you were to hit clear screen, you would remove the complete screen contents. So I'm going to go ahead and call this out one more time. And now that it's called out, I can actually move to another tool. So I can use my highlighting tool, which is set to a default color of, of course, yellow. You can see the contrast is really beautiful with that. The next tool is the underline tool that we talked about, which is in a purple. And I can undo that because it didn't really work the way I wanted. I'm going to undo that anyway. The next tool is a freehand tool. This is where you can circle things during your examination and say, uh, for example, the date and time were not put on this medical record as it should have been. I'm going to go ahead and undo both of those. Now, another thing with these tools, the highlight, the straight pen, and the freehand pen, if you hold down on the button, you'll open up some options. This is where you can choose a different color and a different line size. This also works the same for the eraser tool where you can select a larger tool for the eraser. And as you can see right here, I'm now erasing part of this markup over here on the right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen. I'm going to come back to my library and I am going to now choose an image file. Okay, now the next set of tools, uh, the next set of three independent icons, the first one is the laser pointer that we talked about. This is really cool and it's simply tap on it and when you hold your finger down you get a laser pointer type device where you can bring someone's attention to a particular part of the screen. So this is just a simple laser pointer tool. Okay. Now I'm going to come back to my pen tool for a moment and I'm going to circle uh, the area of interest on this motorcycle. Now if I want to enlarge that even further. I can simply drag over it to make it extremely large. Now we have something that's really easy to see. So if I tap on my camera button up here at the top, you're gonna to see a very quick uh, icon say saving. Okay, we just saved that as a demonstrative new exhibit. I'm gonna clear the screen and show you where that was put. Exhibit View iPad will create a folder for you called Saved Exhibits inside of that folder it gives it automatically gives it a name and you'll see that we've saved this exact demonstrative now granted that name is kind of meaningless 1980-01-01 so you have the ability to rename it here's how you would first move that item into the presentation area and down here at the bottom left you're gonna tap on options edit the file name now you can remove that name and if you'd like to give this a new exhibit number, we're going to call this Exhibit 100, Save. And that item has now been renamed inside of the Saved Exhibits folder, as you can see. If you'll notice at the very bottom of your library, you'll see four separate icons. One is called Documents, Images, AV Media, and All. And this is a simple way to parse out and look at only Documents, look at only Images, or look at only at audio and visual clips and of course everything. 
Okay, let's take a look at how we bring items into Exhibit View iPad simply by tapping on this button at the top left called Add. This opens up a dialog as you can see. Now here we have the ability to create a new folder, we can create a new whiteboard, we can create a new note, we can import items from iTunes if we are connected to a computer, we can also bring in items from Dropbox, and of course we can bring in photos or videos from, from the iPad's camera roll itself. For right now I'm going to choose files from Dropbox and I'm going to come down here to a case that I had long ago and you can see right here I'm opening up this folder and I have some notes and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in a couple of these items into uh, the project. And as you can see, I've just brought in PDFs number 978 and 979. Let me now show you how to add an item from the photos on the iPad. As you can see, we've got something called Camera Roll, where we have a number of images that we've taken. Instead of having to scan a document at the very last minute, you can simply hold your iPad over it, take a picture of it, and then add it to the case. And there it is right there. Now notice, in order to take a, take a picture of it, you typically have to turn your iPad sideways. So this is a great way to talk about using the Rotate tool inside of Exhibit View. There you go. Now you can see that I've got my document, which I can now zoom in on and highlight. And in a pinch, it works great. Now, I should mention, you're looking at our website right now. And we do have a PC version of Exhibit View 5. If I tap on this icon right here, Exhibit View 5, it gives you a little bit of information about it. Now, the reason that we bring this up about Exhibit View 5 for PC is because our PC product will allow you to organize a complete presentation, including creating slideshows, on your main computer in your office, and then you can save it and open it up on your iPad intact. So if you like to work on a PC, and you like to organize and pre-highlight, pre-annotate exhibits, create subfolders for witnesses or issues in a case, create a sl simple slideshow for an opening or closing statement, Exhibit View 5 for PC is the way to go because you can do all that work and you can go up to the file menu and save as iPad and open it all right up here on your iPad. So that's my small plug for Exhibit View 5 iPad. Additionally, I do need to make one other point, Transcript Pro for PC. Transcript Pro is also a PC product. The reason this might be of interest to you is if you take a lot of videotaped depositions and you have them synchronized. Well, Transcript Pro is transcript management. And the point that I'll highlight here on Transcript Pro is it has an extremely intuitive and easy video editor built into it. So you can create clips small individual clips for use on iPad. Uh, actually you would create the clips and they would work on the Exhibit View PC and they would transfer right over to iPad. Or you can take a number of different segments of a video deposition and you can merge them all together. So you can take clips from be the beginning, the middle, the end of a deposition, rearrange them and export them as one video file using Transcript Pro. The other additional feature inside of Transcript Pro is the ability to synchronize. So if you have a videotape deposition that you did not synchronize or you just like saving money, you can manually synchronize your own videotape depositions using Transcript Pro. And it does a whole lot of other stuff as well that we won't get into on this demo, but I just wanted to make a point to discuss those items with you. Exhibit View 5 for PC, Transcript Pro for PC, and Exhibit View iPad. Exhibit View is the only view that matters. Thank you for watching our demo. We hope you have an awesome day. We want you to get that next big win in court.